Good morning, it's me, Barry Miller from Dr. Miami's office. Um, a lot of people have been reaching out and they're asking me, hey Bear, how come you haven't done any IV insertions in a long time? Your lucky day, I got a good one for you. We're gonna put this on reels for the first time, so let's see how it works out. Patient's arm is kind of hanging in a dependent position. I get my high-tech uh, tourniquet here, fire that bad boy up. That really hurts and I tell the patient that it's gonna be you know, a little uncomfortable. So as you can see, she's got a really nice vein here on the dorsum of her hand. All right, I'm just gonna go right down here at about a 30 degree angle. So here we go, a little alcohol to the skin. Boom, just like that. Get my IV cannula. Put some retention on the skin and the vessel here. So it kind of affixes it in place, right? Now we're doing this live, here we go. One, two, three, pinch, pop, go through aggressively, pull back on the sharp uh, needle and advance the catheter. That's how we do it here at Dr. Miami's office. But we're gonna continue to show you this. Now I've already taken off the cap and I'm gonna put pressure here, just like that and pull out. Look at that, no blood, not a drop. Put this in, lock it down. Now make sure I have blood flow or IV fluid flow. You wanna show that up there real quick. It's going nicely into there. We're looking to make sure that there's no extravasation of uh, IV fluid. And I just started doing this technique where I'm using two tegaderms and it really secures it really, really nicely. If you guys wanna use this technique, feel free to do it. Uh, I find that we turn our pay all of our patients over almost all of them turn get turned over into the prone and then I put a tape there tape there I'm not going to show you that that's how we do it remember guys keep your vaporizers full and stay vigilant